Andy Zilch is uh, standing by on the line right now from the Utica Comets. Andy, good morning. Tough night last night. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. It was a, a tough last 20 minutes of hockey against uh, our biggest rival, and uh, it didn't cost us the playoffs. We're still in the thick of things, but uh, it's it's now or never. Now, uh, okay, so let's. Uh, I was I was listening to the game. We couldn't go on Sunday, uh, so I was listening, and you're like, "Listen, this is a tight game. This is going to be tight. Um, you got to get out of here and see this game. If you're not here, get here because this is a, a real tight game." I would have said that you described it the same. I was there last night. You described the, the same thing last night, right until the third period when it just completely changed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first two periods were were incredible. It was fun. It was the playoff atmosphere again. Uh, I got to credit the fans because uh, you know they they help that energy, and uh, the players certainly brought it on the ice for the first forty minutes. I mean, you could tell the intensity was there. Uh, the the rivalry was certainly prevalent, but uh, you know, again, that the last twenty. Uh, the power play goal for Syracuse in the first two minutes certainly set the tone. Yeah. All right. So, and and it just, um, you know, you look at the score and you say, wow, they got blown out. Well, they did in the third period, but the the, the rest of the game was, was really tight. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we have to win out, and we've got to hope for a St. John's loss somewhere in between? Yeah, so St. John's plays twice. You know, obviously, we play twice more. We play Hartford on Friday, yeah. uh, right here at the Odd for the final home game of the year in the regular season. And St. John's plays Toronto, ironically enough, the best team in the division. Mm-hmm. It's still possible. I mean, it's still very possible. Uh, what what we need to happen is St. John's can only get one point, and we have to win all of our games. So uh, if that is the case, which, again, I, I certainly believe that that's possible, we'll clinch a playoff spot. So is it uh, – St. John's only has one game left, or they have two? Two. So okay. they got back-to-back games on Friday and Saturday against Toronto. Okay. Uh, let me ask you about another possible scenario. Utica wins a game, then either gets an overtime loss or a shootout loss, and uh, St. John's doesn't collect points. That would put them, I believe, both in the same slot, uh, same point total – but is there a tiebreaker procedure, and where does Utica sit in that, if you know? There is, yes. So uh, the tiebreaking procedure with that is regulation or overtime victories. So that yeah. excludes all shootout wins, which right now we're tied. So oh, we would have wow. to win. We would have to win in regulation or overtime against Hartford or Syracuse for that to actually come to fruition. Okay. But the sad part of this whole thing is we now don't completely control our own destiny. Correct. Yeah, That's it is. Uh, yeah. What, unfortunately, that loss on Sunday, I, yeah. I think that was even bigger than the loss last night. Mm-hmm. That one really hurt. Yeah, because right. it was the St. John's who we're chasing right yeah. now. So. Yeah, yep. yep. All right, uh, Andy, so let's cross our fingers. Uh, I'd love to see playoff action uh, at the odd. If not, yeah. the uh, construction will start early on those executive suites they're, uh, they're creating. So. <laughs> well, you know, here's the other thing, too, about Friday's game is, uh, you know, it's still fan appreciation week, and, all of our our big boom is coming on Friday, so our fifty fifty rollover, which uh, the last time we did it, it was over thirty seven thousand dollars. Yeah, think about that. Uh, so that's mm-hmm. rolling over. We're gonna have what are we have? It's, it's jerseys gotta be... that are gonna be raffled off. I mean, there's still a ton of giveaways that we have. So it's come gotta... out and enjoy a good time. It's got to be over ten thousand right now, isn't it? Oh, it's well past that. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was I mean, ten early yesterday. You know, I, I, you got to go just to get it, get in on mm-hmm. this. I'm telling you, I mean, why not take Even a if shot? You don't like hockey. Just yeah, get right. there somehow. All right, that's Friday night. Tomorrow night, the final home regular season game. And Andy, I appreciate all the updates. Hopefully, we're talking, uh, you know, after, after Saturday about uh, about playoff action. Certainly, I hope so. I appreciate the time, right. guys. Thanks so much.